Hello everyone and welcome to a tutorial on how to make graphics appear on your on your stream like pop up by typing trigger words in chat and we'll be using After Effects, Adobe Premiere, Streamlab Chatbot and OBS Studio. So we're not using the Streamlabs broadcasting software, we're using OBS Studio for this. And to show you what I mean, uh, I'm going to drag this over. So Streamlabs Chatbot is connected. There's a lot of steps involved to get this working. It is a script down here. So you can see now, you see this pump up R, this source down there. So if I type Zelly R, boop, and there's the emote. So a little emote, a larger version of it, pops up in the corner. It goes up and then goes down. And the same thing works for exclamation YouTube. There is usually a cam frame over here in this in the scene. So it looks a little bit weird, but it works. Discord as well. So I have these connected to my stream deck, so I can hit all three of them. Whoop. There you go. That looks pretty neat. Looks really cool on stream, especially with the when the camera is on, which it isn't right now. So, to get started with this, hmm, first of all, let's go ahead and close, just go ahead and close uh, Streamlabs chatbot, get rid of that one. We're going to start with the Adobe After Effects. It is just an untitled project, there's nothing, nothing going on. And I am going to use a file, this one. <laughs> so usually, or I have this one, which is like a big version. But I'm going to be using this, which is literally just the the art with a Christmas little Santa hat on it. So I'm going to be animating this this time. And let's see, we are going to create a new one. It doesn't really matter. Uh, uh, let's go ahead and name it that. I don't think these really matters. Uh, the duration is going to be, I think... I'll set it to you. I set it to you, mm, five, six, rather six seconds. It's gonna be a six-second-long animation. It's gonna be pretty small. Frame rate sixty. Otherwise, you know, anything below sixty kind of looks like shit. Uh, and I do want to just right-click this properties and check details. Dimensions are those. <laughs> It has a transparent background, so we'll just set it to something similar to this to start. 600 by 800. Let's go, let's go with that. 600 by 800. Easy peasy. Click OK. There we are. Let's go ahead and pull this in. There we are. Drag that in and put it, yeah, we can put it in the center. There we go. Nice. If you never used uh, Adobe After Effects before, then, well, you're going to hit this little arrow. I'm going to hit this over here and I'm going to walk you through this quite slow so you can catch everything I do here. So you have it in the, in the middle. We have different settings. So you can transform this. For example, the scale, the position, rotation, opacity. So opacity, you know, you can set it to however you want. And this is the timeline over here. It goes up to six seconds, which is at the end right there. So let's go ahead and uh, we're going to drag the position down. So it's X and Y. So you can see you can drag this to the left and right, and it increases and decreases. You can set that right there. So it's below the the visible area that we're going to be working with. Then we're going to set, like start the, set a key point in here. Boop. There it is. Now in zero seconds of the animations, it's going to be below. And let's say... Let's say 
about half a second. We're just gonna drag this. You can't really let go here. It's gonna fly up uh, somewhere around right there. Boop. So you see, now we have two key points and it goes between those. That's uh, pretty decent speed. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and select both with shift, click them, click F9, and it becomes a little bit smoother. It's called ease to ease. That's we can make some changes to this later. Um I certainly did some changes to my own with the with the other pop-up where it goes um goes really fast and then slows down a lot towards the end. But now it's sorta of, it still does, but not to the same extent. Anyways. I wanna leave a little bit of the end here for the programming or the script in OBS later. So what we wanna do is it's pretty simple actually. You just select those. We're gonna hit Ctrl C. Gonna deselect and then um, about about over here just before four ish. Uh, let's see. Like that. Boop. You need to have this selected, like the the uh, well, the the picture <laughs> or so. So now it's of course a little bit weird. We're gonna fix that. We are just gonna go ahead and swap these around. So you just click and drag. There you go. I think there's like a reverse uh, tool somewhere, but uh, I'm too lazy to go find it. That's a really long animation. Wow. Let's go ahead and move these forward a bit. Three seconds. Oop. It's still pretty, pretty long. And bring it down even more. So let's say if we cut it down to three seconds, that's going to be pretty good. Yeah, that looks, that looks nice. So what we can do is go to Composition, Composition Settings, and just bring this down to three. Three seconds. Whoop. And now it's cut off. Beautiful. Yeah, and there you have it. It's, it's that easy. Actually, if you want to get into advanced parts, it's this. So it's basically the uh, ECE's settings. So you can, I think you can change this. Something like that. Let's see what happens. Control set. Oh, that's better. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. It's kind of hard to read these. I don't understand it myself, really. Um, what the three different like colors are, etc. But then towards the end, we're gonna try to do the same thing. I guess that's gonna be like so. Let's see what happens. Hmm. <laughs> ah, that's perfect. It's just what I wanted. Hey, yeah. So those, it's this button right here. If you want to fiddle with this, uh, very easy to mess up if you click the wrong thing. Um, but you just select these and bring it towards the left if you click on these. And this one, which is reverse, bring that to the right. It should work. Okay. Go ahead and deselect. Select this. Go to render queue. And we are gonna, like, when you render things in After Effects, you do wanna, wanna check these like all the settings, maybe not this one, render settings is usually just the same, but especially the next one, if you click on lossless. So it's gonna render in AV, AVI. Um, there's some different different ones you can do here. Uh, if you don't have Premiere, there's another like render, render queue thingy that you can use, but that's a plugin from Adobe and I don't have that. Uh, but yeah, if you do it this way, you're gonna render as AVI it's going to be RBG plus alpha. Otherwise, you won't get the transparent background. It'll be green. Um, 
Let's see, no audio. There is no audio, so don't need that. Click OK, and then you go into, well, where you want to save it by clicking the name. Stream tutorial is mine. Ayul.avi and hit render. Bling. Okay, there it is. You can see this green right now, but that's that's not. You're not gonna not gonna worry about that. Mm -mm. Uh, and then let's open Premiere. Here we go. We can also close this down now. Again, I haven't saved this project, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Save it in Stream Tutorial as the Yule or ah. You. Yule means Christmas in Swedish. There we are. Adobe Premiere, it looks like it's loading. It is loading, but it really isn't. It's just very blank and boring. I'm gonna go into new project. Uh, this doesn't really matter. It's such a small thing, so just whatever. Yeah, sure. Parts already exist because I've done this before. You're gonna go in here, grab the AVI, AVI, AVI file. That's going to be a pretty massive file, by the way. If you have a longer one that you want to make, those can go up to the gigabytes, just so you know. I'm going to drag this into here. And then what you can do is just right click, export media. And let's see, I had this set to animated GIF. We don't want to do that. I guess you could. I guess you could. By GIF, mm, kind of sucks. If you're doing it in Premiere, you might as well go with WebM, which is down here. Uh, might need a plugin for this. I don't really remember. I really, really don't remember if you need it, but whatever. It should be here. No audio. Um, just ignore like the preset and whatnot. You're going to go into, like, just save it again. Stream tutorial. The webm file, save. Let's see, you're gonna hit match source. That's gonna be the exact same. You can make this smaller, of course. This is a little bit big. Um, which I actually, actually might do that just to keep file size down. But you can see this is four megabytes compared to 329, that is the AVI. So let's bring this to Let's see, let's say 300 times 400. They are connected, so don't worry about that. You want to scroll down, you can change the quality. So <laughs> you can bring it down to you insanely low uh, file size levels. Uh, you want to hit this one, include alpha channel, or this just won't work. And I think that's it. Yeah, it's all on the video. The rest you don't need to check. Maximum render quality, and yeah, doesn't matter. All of these are good. Don't check this one. Otherwise, you'll just get the, well, bad stuff. Black and white, pretty much. All right, export. And there we go. So, now we have our WebM file. You can see it looks horrible. This program kind of sucks. That's the Windows built-in program. Get VLC. There you go. That's how it looks. But it won't look like that in OBS. Now, part two of the tutorial, which is setting up the Streamlabs chatbot and OBS Studio to work together. So, first of all, let's go ahead and open uh, Streamlabs. Give my screen for a second there. Also, you can close this. If you had any problems with your render, you might want to just save this, but otherwise, nah, gonna toss that. It's not too hard to remake. Okay, so, it's a, yeah, we're gonna get into some tricky parts here, but you can go into here, and then you're gonna just connect your bot, your streamer, whatever it is you're using, you might not see this down there, the OBS remote, and we're gonna we're gonna get to that, right? 
So scroll down, you need to have connected to be able to even see scripts. If scripts do not work, or if it's your first time using scripts, you're gonna need to download Python. Basically just install Python so Streamlabs can work with scripts. Otherwise, the weird things are gonna happen. Things won't show up. Uh, I'm not even sure if you have an import button or whatever. I'm not even sure if you can see scripts. So go ahead and get that. Otherwise this won't work. You're gonna go ahead and hit import. And uh, there is a file that you're gonna get. I'll just locate my stream tutorial because that's where I put the put the file. Now, I'm gonna put this file into my Discord. So on my Discord, there is a link down below in the description. I'm gonna go come into my Discord, Zali. I'm gonna pop on into general, scroll down, and down here, streams and resources. You can find this one resources. And that's where the file is going to go. It's actually empty right now because it's brand new. But you also have, uh, if you are a streamer, feel free to promote your stream. If you do, make sure to read the info, info uh, information, the info first. Otherwise your post is going to get deleted by the moderators. It's pretty important. It's a unique take on, on stream promotion. So feel free to check that out as well, if you'd like. So you find the file there, put it somewhere where you can find it. Hit just double click this, and that's gonna load in as a script. And that's gonna be called the, the phrase remote. Noom TV made a modified version of another script. And basically what this, what the difference is, is that you can type uh, the trigger message or like whenever in chat. So if I go ahead and connect the OBS remote right here, which you don't don't really have yet, then go ahead and exit out of that. And then what the modify script does is you can type it anywhere in your chat. So usually it has to be like the first word, but this script makes it so you can put it anywhere. Right, we'll go ahead and disconnect that and go back to script and let's see, this one, can I right click this, open script folder and here's all three of them, all three of my scripts that I'm using. You're going to hit phrase remote, that should be the only one you have if you haven't done scripts before. And then you have, you have a readme, you have example settings, you can ignore this. Settings is the big one. And readme is also important. You're going to hit this and to use the OBS remote parameters, you first need to have OBS WebSocket plugin installed to use in the OBS. Okay. So you're going to hit this link right here. You're going to open this and Let's see if we can copy that, paste it in our browser. Go down here and scroll down to install instructions, windows. You just download uh, the, the windows installer, that one. You run that one. And when this is done, you just hop on out, go into OBS. There should be like instructions for all this. So instructions here as well. But you go into tools, WebSocket service settings, this should show now. And you just hit enable. And that should work, right? Click OK. And now in Streamlabs, you should be able to see the OBS remote. Or maybe it's there already from the start. I don't really remember. But you hit this, connect, and there you go. Now we can start fiddling with the uh, with the actual settings of this. Okay, so let's hop into OBS. We are gonna go ahead and hit the plus. We're gonna put in a media source. It's gonna call be called 
pop up a yield. Oop. There we go. It's important that you make like create an easy name so that you can spell. It is case sensitive as well. So just make sure to make something, type something easy. Click OK. Uh, I'm going to browse to the file. Boop. It's an After Effects, Stream Tutorial, the WebM file, open. Then we're going to scroll down. Uh, close file when inactive. You can do that. And OK, there it is. Nice. It does disappear, so what you want to do is... It's actually a little bit small for me. Uh, let's go ahead and properties. You want to go ahead and loop this. So now it just goes over and over and over again. So I want to set this... Hmm, maybe something like this. Oh, that's way bigger than, than my old one. And you can click it, you can like click it around with with your buttons. It's looping. With the arrow buttons on your keyboard. Something like that. Perfect. Now it's in position. So we're gonna go into properties. I'll keep it this size. It's okay. Uh disable loop. I'm gonna lock it. Head on back. And I'm going to remember this pop up or yule. I'm going to pull that away. Okay, let me close these. Open this again. Script folder. Phrase um, remote. You go into settings. And you can see here I have this like code here. If we take a look at one of these, it says match Zelly R. That's the emote. Its uh, command is set source visibility timed. You can sort of understand what that means. The C name is game. That is my scene. The source name is pop up R with case sensitive. Everything is case sensitive. Mode is on off, which means it turns on and then turns off. And the delay is two seconds, right? And we set ours to Three seconds, I think. Yeah. So let's go ahead and scroll down. You can see I have Twitter, Discord, YouTube as well. And here, uh, you won't be seeing these. So it's going to be like filled in with, with um, Noom TV stuff in here. You just change this to you. Uh, this is going to be matched. This is the word that you're going to type in chat for it to trigger, for this to trigger, okay? So we're going to be typing... Actually going to be typing Zelly R, like this. Uh, source visibility time, just as the other ones. Uh, it's going to be in game. That's my scene. The source name is... Pop up R U. There we go. On off. It was it three seconds, I think. Let's go ahead and hit save. Save this. You can exit out and exit out. And then you're going to go ahead and click save settings. And then go ahead and reload script. That's just to refresh everything. Otherwise, it might just not work. Okay. So let's see what happens if we type it in here. Make sure OBS remote is uh, connected. Let's see. Uh, right. Sully R. Huh. Hold on. Oh, right. Wait. Yeah. It works. Nice. <laughs> Boop. Now you can see there's two of them. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, disable the other one. Just go into scripts, uh, Noom TV. I don't actually know if there is any other way to disable these. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to set the pop-up R 
Just set that to an X. Save this, back out, save settings, load scripts. Let's see what happens. Whoop. And there we go. And it looked like this in, in OBS. So the source is right there, called RU, type R, and it turns on and turns off after four seconds. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to, you can find me on, like, of course, you can find me on Discord. I'm always active on my, active on my Discord. You can find me on Twitch as well. I stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Xali. There you go. You can go in there, hit follow, and uh, check me out when I'm, when I'm up in live. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.